you're doing well. I just wanted to take a few seconds here just to do a quick run around on some of the decks that I have on my wall. Uh, I've got rid of quite a few lately. Um, and as we step into the holiday season here, I've got a few other decks in the works. So I'll kind of do a before and after. Unfortunately, um, I did get rid of some other ones, but uh, anyways, it'll give you kind of a, an idea of what my collection is uh, beginning to look like. And so let's start with um, this wall over here. Uh, so some of you, if you've been on my channel, you would have seen that I've done a review on some of these 11, uh, Series 11 Bones Brigade um, natural decks. And so this one is the Mike McGill, and it's a rad deck. Um, you can go online uh, or onto my channel and watch the review on that if you're interested. I'm just not huge on the natural colors, so I've actually sold in the last week and a half or two weeks here the um, Series 11 Guerrero uh, and the Lance Mountain as well. Anyways, moving along. So then we get into my only actual deck from the 80s here. Um, this is not a reissue that Santa Cruz Rob Ross got. That is OG and uh, wicked find on that. There is a story behind that one that I'll let you guys in on when I do the review on it. Um, then we get into the Vision Jinx, uh, which is a really rad kind of Batman-ish vibe to it. Um, but I love that deck and I actually really like stains. And uh, so that one is a stained green. Um, then we get into this Dogtown Aaron Murray. Uh, this one means a lot because this was the first pro deck I had. Uh, I had a stain and this one is a black dip. Um, but it is such a rad deck, just the shape and everything. And I actually still cruise that one. There's snow outside now, so I've got it up on the wall. But um, that's that's my summer cruiser. And uh, then we get into the Series 5 Future Primitive uh, Bones Brigade uh, Lance Mountain. And yeah, that one was Series 5, and that orange really pops. It's such a killer deck. Uh, then we get into the Mike Valelli, and this is the Powell Classic uh, reissue from 2007. Obviously the Lime one, and that one is pretty sought after. Um, and then there's a really cool story beside this Powell bug uh, that hopefully I'll remember to tell you guys, but there is a reason that it's sitting there beside the Valelli. If you guys don't know the story, then it's, it's kind of cool. So I'll get into that when I review that one independently. Um, then we look at uh, the series on the top left there. We have the Series 9 Tony Hawk. I did do a video on this one, trying to get some independent trucks on it. Didn't work out so well because the whole patterns have changed on the newer trucks. And so um, if you want, you can get the six hole base plates. Um, they're typically found on uh, Indy 169s or you can buy them separately. And so I ended up doing that, but uh, I haven't mounted it. I don't know if I'm going to skate it, and it still does have a bit of a warp to it. Fortunately, these Powell decks suffer from warping really easy, um, which is just unfortunate when you're paying as much money as, you know, we have been recently even for these Series 12 decks. Uh, it's quite a bit of change, um, and to see them kind of twist so quickly is, uh, is a real pain. But anyways, we'll get into the Series 12 here. So... Obviously the Hawk, the Mullen, which is so rad. This Series 12, like the Silver, looks so good. Um, the Guerrero, um, and again, I'll do these ones independently, so I won't get into a lot of detail here. Again, it's just to show you quickly what I'm working with. Uh, so then we have the, on the left, the Lance Mountain, uh, the McGill, and the uh, Ban This Cab. And then we get into um, my Bats and Bones here on the far right. And uh, it's such a, such a rad deck as well. Anyways, that's a quick overview, guys. Uh, if I don't get anything up prior to um, Christmas, Merry Christmas. Have a fabulous uh, new year. Enjoy your holiday season. Cheers. Thanks so much, guys.